What the heck did I get myself into? Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna do a little bit of a product demo for you from our DIY koozies that we made out of Reflectix and Neoprene. So we're gonna see which one actually works the best and then compare it against not having one at all and then also one with the cover on it. Oh, and if you're wondering how I made each of these, I'll link something up in the side of the screen to the video where I actually demoed how to make it for a C to Summit type collapsible mug where there's actually an angle and you need to cover that angle. So what we're gonna do is boil some water with our handy dandy electric kettle and we're going to pour and wait five minutes in each of the different types of containers to see how far the temperature dropped from that boil point. So we'll do first a control with just the Sea to Summit mug out in the open, like you would be out in the backcountry. Then we'll switch with our Reflectix um, insulator. Then we'll move on to our neoprene without the covers. And then finally, we'll do our Reflectix with the covers and see which one actually holds in the heat the longest. So here we go. Okay. Our starting temp was 189.6. Okay, we'll call it at 139.6. Okay, next up, we'll have our Reflectix. Reflectix, someone telling me how to say that. Call it at 90.6, starting the timer now. Okay, we'll call it at 159.4. All right, we'll call that one at 190.5. One fifty nine on the dot. We'll call that one at one ninety point six. So we'll call that one at, stop that timer. One sixty eight point four. Okay, so the final results of our um, water and heat test with our different types of insulation with the plain Sea to Summit mug nothing on it. We got a total temperature drop within five minutes of 50 degrees. So if you think about making coffee and you're doing a pour over and it takes about five minutes to be able to do that, your coffee is going to drop by about 50 degrees by the time you drink it. And then with just our simple Reflectix, no cover over it, it was 31.2 degree drop. And then our neoprene sleeve was a 31.5. So overall, these are actually the same in terms of insulating value. And they also weigh the same. So they're about 0.5 ounces each. The only difference really, if you want to think about taking this into the back country, would be this neoprene sleeve is very collapsible. 
so you can roll it and fold it and it's very tiny. Whereas this one, in order to clasp it, you would have to bend it forward and this is about as small as it can get within your pack. And then our final one, we actually made a cover and I did have the lid sitting open a little bit. So if you can imagine if you were in the back country and you kept it closed, you'd even get, you'd get even better heat retention in here. But I had it open with a the thermometer sticking out because most likely if you are drinking your coffee, you're gonna be opening and closing that lip. So a total temperature drop with the cover was 22.2. So it does make about a 10 degree difference in terms of heat retention over time to have that lid on there. Hopefully you guys found this video very useful and helpful and answer some of the questions you might have had. A reflective bubble insulated barrier that we're all used to and a neoprene sleeve that you can make at home. So if you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you like the content and wanna see more of these tips and tricks and how to's or just questions you have about camping, hiking, and adventures with your dog, remember to subscribe to my channel. Thanks!